fucking chicken thing. It's one of those things where people think it's religion that's happening now, but the fact of the matter is, this shit was happening back then, and they saw it as religion. I think, it, yeah, the planet's a living organism. The planet. And, and this whole thing is alive. I think an asteroid, think, think the, one of those big ones going to hit us soon in could, our lifetime? It could just, something could screw up. What if the sun just goes out? That's what <laughs> Why is it? Why do we think that fucker's got to stay lit the whole time? <laughs> you know, oh, there's <laughs> plenty of hydrogen fuel to burn for many years, and slowly it'll grow. And it's like, how the hell do you know? Like, what if one day, <laughs> poof, right? It just goes out tomorrow. Right. Why not? Well, all our calculations. Say that. <laughs> yeah, right. But well, there you go, trying to be God. And you just, yeah. you, you know, if you think we know that uh, there's a lifespan of uh, at least our sun is middle age right now, and <laughs> it'll last for another ten gazillion years, and then slowly grow, uh, and then. My, if you think uh, your life means anything in the end, go to the Grand Canyon. For a reality That's a good check. one, too. For yeah. a fucking reality check. Me and my brother, we hiked all the way down to the bottom and back, down to the river and back. And you go down, and it, you'll hear some of these these experts on their mules with their with the people that are on the the mules with them, and they'll start explaining shit. And they'll see you see that part of the wall. Now you gotta remember this thing drops down miles, right? But they'll they'll point out a piece that's maybe I don't know, I don't know, maybe uh, 20 feet thick. And they'll basically say, yeah, that took about uh, 100,000 years to, to, uh, yeah. to erode. It, it's and then you look from that point all the way <clears throat> down, like, miles, going, you you know, we, ain't see, shit. Um, we ain't shit in the end. You know, it takes about a year for them to start making documentaries about all of the things. That's like, the, I, well, New Orleans documentaries are coming out already, but mm -hmm. the real good tsunami ones right. yeah. and the explanation of just what happened. Oh, like, yeah. The pressure and then it ju the, the earth just moves. Burps. Yeah. And... Snap. Everybody dies. <laughs> right. They said that, they said that, that it, it stopped, the Earth stopped spinning for a second. It was so powerful. That yeah, it kind of wobbled earthquake. a little bit. Yeah. yeah, that creeps me. It's like you just go, how can? Yeah, you just go, damn. You know, you just sit there and you just say, how do you keep going when you know the Earth can just take it? You know, yeah, knock I was, you out of here. I was in uh, a rainforest <clears throat> in Seattle, Washington. Well, it's actually uh, you know not Seattle, but uh, yeah, in the woods there, the whole rainforest. And we were hiking around, right? And you see trees that are as big as this room in thickness. All right? So w what is that? At least yeah, 20 feet 25. across? You see trees. You can't even comprehend how long it took to get this big, right? With a little sapling. Right. It started with like just point. a little seed somewhere, right? And these things are massive. They're saying some of these trees, I don't remember exactly, like four or 500 years old, right? And then you see these same trees uh, in other parts of the forest that, are comp that fell down. Okay, right, right. and this is where you realize you're nothing in the grand scheme of things. You see trees now are growing out of these rotted trees that have been growing out of the rotted trees for easily a hundred years. Yeah, it's 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 why I mean, and and it, and you know, I'm just like learning that them fires, all the fires we worry about. That's like right. that's that's nature's. Nature does that. Yeah, yeah. We need fires right now. We just need to burn up some Yeah, got to burn some of this away. This has to go. Yeah. We have the first to time it. someone told so me that. lightning hits, it starts it's a fire. Got to go. burn. The first time yeah. someone told me that Earth was a living organism, I, I laughed. Like, shut up. But you, you really start to pay more and more attention. And this is it's, the, it's the truth. And this in is the, the Matrix, if we were smoking pot, we'd yeah, be freaking out story, but in the stories. What in the Matrix they said? <laughs> we're all paranoid. In the Matrix they said, what, we're the, we're the cancer of Earth or whatever? Yeah. We're just little cancer cells. Yeah, we're like a virus. Destroy us. Earth. We're just a virus crawling around on this thing, <laughs> you know. We're <laughs> you just know? like this living bug that's fucking everything up. And but but you know something in the scheme of things, we ain't we're not doing shit. Like people, we got to save the planet. And, but you humans, we're polluting the planet. If we were gone for any real length of time. The Earth would just cover up any existence, uh, any evidence that we were ever here. That, I, I, we that's what I think about. That. The, the Earth is Are we going to be dinosaurs? Are people going to just yeah. find us, dig us up, and then go, you know, what? this was a uh, yeah, Negatoris uh, Savonis here. <laughs> well, this was, uh, <laughs> or worse, if there's just never anyone to ever dig us up. Dude. It just goes oh, on be some kind of, big of just some v <laughs> vines covering it'll be some armless brain creature that comes <laughs> on around us. <laughs> Somebody with white eyes that sees in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> you see the, uh, on the Discovery Channel recently that whole city that was in the Congo that they're discovering? Did you see that one no. yet? I, mean, I don't know. I, I, maybe <clears throat> someone could help me out. But they basically have seen this thing that is hundreds of miles of a city that has been completely grown over now.
Oh, this stuff we haven't seen or found or anything. They said deep in the Congo was a civilization that one day just stopped yeah. uh, existing because I guess they they expanded too much or whatever, and they couldn't handle. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what happened. You think we'll be gone? So, like New and York then, City will just be gone, and somebody gone, will discover it. Nothing like, left. Well, the Congo, the broom, and go. Whoa, this yeah. ancient yeah. city. They're they're <laughs> discovering like you know like roads and stuff, and it's unbelievable because now the trees have pretty much taken mm. taken back the forest. Yeah. Yeah, I was sort of part of it, so I, maybe someone gone. could help me out on the phones. That They'll they find like this. the Empire State Building, like with the, with the little. And you think with the little brush? With the little brush. Wait a minute. Just like he'll be he'll be digging a little hole and just see the tip of the antenna from the Empire State Building and go. I think I found something. There may be something under here. <laughs> Jerry, come here. His name's still Jerry. Help me dig. <laughs> Seven thousand years from now, it's Jerry. Jerry, it's still a condom, Jerry. <laughs> it's not like a Sarnak or something. It'll be Charles, Jerry. Charles, come here. I found something. <laughs> not some weird futuristic name. It's still <laughs> just, Jerry. Just Jerry in the year seven thousand. Jerry. <laughs> Albert, come here. <laughs> Albert in the oh, year seven thousand. I'm oh, from the damn. future. What's your name? <laughs> uh, uh, Pete. <laughs> Pete, what the? What year are you from? Twelve thousand and six. Pete, <laughs> Pete, <laughs> your name is Pete. <laughs> oh, I get it. You took a name from our time so as to make us more comfortable. What's your real name? Nah, nah. Just Pete. <laughs> Pete, how you doing? Well, my name is Pete from the future. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit don't change. Just doesn't. You're absolutely right, Patrice. 12,000 fucking years from now, it's just going to be Pete and Bob and Ed. Yeah. I think his name is going to be Doc. And they're still going to work. So and, and they're still going to want to <laughs> drink on the weekends. And still no flying cars. No flying car, no Mylar suits. Of course. That's None why of the fun I want to live stuff. forever. I, that's the only reason I want to live forever, just to see stuff. Yeah. Damn Do something it. different. Just to see, you know, the the the, the Jetsons. The change. Damn. Because it's still the same. You know, Ray, the cars look great and all, but that's the same motherfucking thing we're in that the, the Henry Ford was puttering around on uh, back in the early 1900s. I mean, we can fly, so you know they, they, there's possibilities, you know. You yeah, but be able to, you how know. much has the plane changed since the Wright brothers took off? It's the same. I think a lot, probably. Right? Yeah, but the principle, all the same. Where's just what the, the hovering principle thing? of nature, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's still just the uh, the flying car? Where's the hovering thing? Where's the jetpack? We were promised the jetpack. <laughs> we were promised the jetpack. We were promised the jetpack and the flying car. Where is the jetpack? Pete, when will <laughs> we still don't have that <laughs> thing down? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> what? The what? The jetpack. I think that we do. Why? But we're we're not responsible enough to have the jetpack or the flying car. Can you imagine oh, if all of a sudden? The, saying, yeah. Can you imagine if all of a sudden a store opened up and you could get oh, your jetpack tomorrow? People falling out of the sky. Oh, on we gotta top be prepared for the, jetpacking. That's yeah, what, yeah, the You're whole, probably right. Yeah. And have, flying cars is another. Some thing. Some of this technology, I think, you have to wait for the whole, uh, everyone around you to catch up to you. You think we're ready for 16 lanes of traffic stacked we're up on top of each for, other like we're we're Star Wars? They're ready, man, but they're just waiting for us to develop more. Yeah, they're ready. We stink. Who's they? If you had a, yeah. if you had your own, oh, oh, Patri- you're letting Patrice well, in on the secret. Here's what I want to say about they. Well, this is the thing, like the aliens, right, Opie? Yeah. The thing I go like this: this whole thing about aliens, and that we know there's aliens, like the government. Mm-hmm. But the government's made up of people. So you think there's people out there that see aliens and they just keep it to themselves? They, they go, go home. hey, we got a secret here. I, hey, I know there's aliens, but I'm, I got my shit together where I don't say there's aliens. Right. <laughs> That's a great are you, are you, way to look at you know it. what I mean? You know like, why? You know why? Because <laughs> people think those people that know are constantly in brick windowless buildings. What about when he's at a cookout with his right, family like, or something? Nigga, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it would come out. And they got brains. <laughs> And they got big eyes. Like it's like oh, you, you, like these dudes are so like the president knows there's aliens and they're keeping this secret from little old stupid us. He's not picking up the phone when he's in his secured like office that he used his swipe card to get into and going. Yes, there's aliens. I see them. They're here in the building. But when he's bowling. Sweetie, how was your day today? Oh, <laughs> man, I gotta keep a secret, but that bitch, I can't. I gotta tell you this one. Just, just make me a steak, cause I. All right, don't tell nothing. Don't say shit, sweetie. Don't tell your dumb friends at work. <laughs> These niggas got big eyes and four feet. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I've been into alien talk for years, but I've never seen it. Conspiracy, <laughs> my put that ass. Right. Like it's no aliens. We've never seen them. They don't have them. No. Somebody would. It's just too. 
much yeah. for a human being to deal with. Bunch of rats. It's all we are. Everybody, we love right. it. You want to be the guy that tells something and new And even to if the guy, else. you know, he saw aliens, you, you know, what makes it funny in my, my stupid thinking is, you, you know he still has to wait uh, for a table at a restaurant. Because <laughs> <laughs> you would see him sitting there go, boy, if I just told this yeah, guy. You would think it, you could pull out that card and they'd be like, yeah, it's great. Boy, but if he, I still a half hour, it's still a half hour wait. I don't give a all fuck. Right, but you don't right. understand. I've seen the alien. I've you think seen you, the alien. You think you hint like, I think I could get a table. I drove uh, all the way from Roswell <laughs> to uh, come to your place. Roswell, New Mexico. Dude, you, you know, um... I think about that with people with special jobs on, on this planet, and they still have to go through bullshit. They still have to wait in traffic yeah. and wait for a cab and all that. Remember Jim Norton was telling us uh, that he lives in um, that apartment uh, the, uh, that apartment uh, complex with that uh, brilliant um, physicist or whatever? Oh, or, yeah, uh, yeah. Was it a physicist? or Yeah, that uh, Asian guy. Asian guy is brilliant, string theory, all that. Supposedly yeah. he's smarter than just about anyone out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jimmy and I were walking home once, and the guy was just kind of walking around Central Park and getting on one of those uh, uh, bike buggy things. Into one of those little rickshaw, rickshaw. bicycle things? Yeah. Have. And Jimmy's like, no one no one has a clue that that guy <clears throat> is one of the smartest guys on earth. And he's just taking a rickshaw. Yeah. Just taking one because he could. Our, we give ourselves way too much credit, like people <clears throat> credit for that. Like, yeah. You know, if there was going to be an asteroid to hit, that there's a bunch of people that's just so much cooler than us as the the, 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 the end of the world extinction event is getting ready to happen. Yeah. It's like, all right, get our thing together because we're going to save the Earth. <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, Lord, oh, we're going to die. You know what I mean? It's just... we, we watched the whole breakdown uh, during the hurricane. I mean, we watched a, a very small-scale version of that. You would think that when that many people need that much help, that the government has the planes and everyone's waiting to swoop up nameless people that know their mission to swoop in and help everyone. And everyone was like, is that your job? Who, the mayor, the governor? Who's? But then didn't you ask for this? We got it. It's here, but we just got to gather it up. and co It's got to go here. Wha who? What? No one knew shit. And that told me right then and there that there ain't no alien hidden in Roswell. No. There ain't no secret plans. There's no conspiracy no. We, that we didn't go to the moon. We went to the fucking moon. <clears throat> not a bit, I love the people that say, no, if you notice, there's a set. And they, they're props. And you think that many people are holding their tongue and I was there when they filmed it. It's, it's fake. It's, it was all done. Yeah. It was actually done on a, by Disney right, in a right. studio by the Cape, and that's Long why God they gave them the, sure. the property to build Disney World on. And why? The only thing I believe, conspiracy-wise, theory, yeah. is that they hold medicine. They hold cures for disease. Oh, for money purposes. That's the only thing I go. Now, how would that be a money-making uh, thing if they? Well, hold because it? medicine is mo medicine oh, is I money. Know that, so if you, if you withhold, what if you if you find a cure for the common cold? Mm -hmm. Somebody would kill you. Oh, because there's so because many cold Dristan remedies. Because then will go out of business. Bear will go out of business. It's like things that make zillions in this Treating country. Treating a disease is more profitable yeah, than yeah, curing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So conspiracy-wise, I think that. There's just a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, cures that you know it, it's more money to keep you alive with cancer than actually. Oh my God! Get, like if there's, a cure, rid of it. Yeah, there's but, a cure for cancer out there, but uh, people <laughs> getting treated for it yeah, spend so much money. Yeah, there's so many opportunities out, out there. Why didn't why wouldn't mm. you start up a company where you go fuck y'all? I got the cure for the common cold. Well, that's where that's where the FDA all, comes in. I'm that's where they all go, out of business. That's where the government goes. Oh, this is some bullshit. See, here, but now I'm gonna bite <laughs> you with your own shit now. All right, go ahead, go ahead. How about the guy or the guys that came up with it? I'm sure one of them got cancer. You think he's going to sit there and go, well, God damn it, I'll keep my secret. <laughs> no, I can't get the cure because that'll fuck up our whole thing. He just takes a swig of cancer juice. <laughs> <laughs> he kills himself. It's just, that's all he does. He'd be running out going, there's a cure, motherfucker. Yeah. I, I just, I just, so they they're were, all in on it. What about the wife, him, then? They would make him a loon. Like, I think the government can make you a loon. If yeah. they want to, so, so it's all crazy people got the cure. Got the cure, all that nutty stuff. Because fool. you say you say if he gets it, then they just drink the cancer well, juice and keep would, their secret. Why would, what about, juice? Now, why what about his daughter? Of, gets why would you want to get rid of? What about his daughter's? He his daughter's it to his daughter. His daughter's husband gets it. Then that's their where it kids stops. get it. Now, <laughs> now someone's gonna start running out and going, but there's a cure for these motherfuckers. If they cured the common cold, right? How many people 
would go out of business. Listen, like the oil. Right. Why do they keep oil around when we got cars now that we can we can I think plug cause, in or cause we can use easier. the sun? The second the oil actually did run out, you would see shit come out of the woodwork. Not because we have it there waiting in the wings, because we've always been uh, the necessity has been the mother of invention thing. We wait until we real. Just like uh, individuals, us as a whole, we kind of wait till we really need the shit before we put a hundred percent into uh, yeah, making. Because we it. depend on each other. You can't. We have oil. Why yeah. bother with the hybrids really pu pushing them? Why bother with the solar and wind power? Yeah, we put a few windmills here to show that we can kind of do. That's this. why all but, this stuff has to come in nice and slow. But it's oil. If the I oil ran that. out tomorrow, you'd see some fucking Phineas J. Whoopi motherfucking scientist. <laughs> I figured out how to separate the hydrogen from fucking <laughs> air follicles. There'd be a new power source. We'd be pumped the next day. You'd see some Arab selling you fucking some kind of fuel made out of hair tonic. We can, I just don't. I just think that Dude, uh, it, Willie Nelson's got something going on. That <laughs> Willie Nelson. I'm got telling it. you, uh, need a trucker to call. I saw it on uh, 60 Minutes or is it the uh, French fry hours. oil? It's some kind of oil thing they made. I've seen the French fry oil w running in uh, modified diesel engines. These guys go around. They modified a diesel engine to Willie take Willie Nelson uh, started a whole company, vegetable man. oil. So now these guys, this guy, one guy drives around, he'll go to like a Chinese restaurant where they dump their fat in the back right. and say, can I have your fat? And then they, they take it, melt it down, put it in their car, now you think, and run now, it. Now do, you, now, do you don't think, right, that we're, right now, we can just have a bunch of cars that run on vegetable oil. And I'm sure vegetable oil smoke when it's not as dangerous as, as fossil fuel, you know what I mean? But it's like we, people will go out of business, man. So that's I mean that's I think the, what the government does a lot. The only mm -hmm. like where I go conspiracy theory type of thing, yeah, is um you like I don't think they try to really put things in black people's sodas and to kill us for real because it's just too easy for other people to get a get a hold of it and die. You know uh -huh. what I mean? But I think that they keep you from get we get, we don't get cures for certain diseases. I mean to keep the common cold around is just a lot of money. Like AIDS might have been a big mistake when they invented it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because that just ran, that's like the blob. Some things are like the blob. Uh, yeah, it just right, got away go. from you. <laughs> here we go. This is what Willie Nelson's up to. All, All right. I, I didn't want to speak because I don't have too much info on this. Dennis, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Willie Nelson, uh, he, he he makes biodiesel. And what they do is they make it out of crops like sugar beets. They take the oil out of sugar beets and convert it into biodiesel. It's You, you know, it's made, from a, it's made from crops, so it saves the American farmer, and they make diesel out of it. Yeah. And supposedly it runs cleaner, it's better lubricant, and you know, all of those things. And there's a bunch of you truckers out there actually filling up on this stuff. Sure, uh, Willie Nelson's even got a truck stop. Yeah, what's He's the truck stop? Uh, well, excuse me? Where's that truck stop? Because that's the one they featured on this uh, this new show. It's somewhere in Texas. I've never been there. Yeah, um, and, and you can fill up right there with Willie mm. Nelson's. See, uh, you know they probably wow. call it Willie Nelson's crazy old coop. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Why isn't that as big as it? Sh it should be the biggest yeah. thing in the world right now. Because we oil should, we is should right leave there. Iraq because of that. Because yeah, oil is what? right there. It's right here, and it's it works not great. Right there. Beats are right there, Anthony. Not oil. You know how many <laughs> beats you got to fucking grow? <laughs> Do you know how many beats to but take up all the oil? Beats are there. To where we can say, fuck you to you and your oil. We got beats. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. got beats, There'd baby. be a beat growing in front of you right now. There'd be beats. All, every fucking flat space in this country would have to have a beat growing on it. <laughs> <laughs> to fuel the amount of shit. I got, got beets and potatoes. Who needs your <laughs> effing war? <laughs> beets. That's what I'm saying. Do you understand what? how big a news that is? But it, it's just old oh, crazy. Old, some truck driver calls in yeah. and crazy old coot Willie Nelson, who investigated by IRS and he smokes weed. What old crazy yeah. knucklehead? Here's Jeremy. He actually drives on uh, biodiesel. Jeremy. Hey, Oney. What's going on, guys? What up? Hey, I run, I've been running uh, biodiesel for about six months, and uh, I actually got to meet Willie. The only difference is it smells like chicken. The, the diesel or the fuel itself smells like chicken, but it ups your fuel mileage and everything because we only get like 6.2 miles to the gallon, and you put bio in there, and you get like uh, 7.9, 8.3. And what's it made so, out of? It's made out of soybean oil. Look at soybean, that. huh? See? Yeah, soybeans. A lot of soy. But they're there. Soybeans are there. Man. There are so you don't many have to alternatives. 
that are yeah, out there. Was. But everything right now well, the economy is running would be on oil. Affected too much. You can't just like you know. Why? Just, you just can't just much, all of a sudden start can't. pumping beef juice and <laughs> soy Why? into your gas tank. Why? No, how many, just, Actually, you could. Cause so, Thank you, sir. No, but I'm just saying, too many families depend on the uh, the the uh, the industry, the oil, the you know, the oil industry. What the heat? The heat their homes? Uh, heat it on beet juice, baby. Beets? My house smells like chicken. To... Fantastic. <laughs> Soy bean and beets. You got to have to. A lot of you things got to change. Everything. You can't just start. You know, stop this one day and start. I don't uh, care what this guy's saying. Tomorrow. Your fuel tank in your house. If you fill it up with miso soup, that <laughs> motherfucker is not going to heat right. your house. And that's the problem. you got to think about, uh, you know, with what, how it's, it's going to affect the economy. But if we needed it tomorrow, if all the oil ran out tomorrow, you'd see how quick everything would change. We going back to your common cold thing. How many people depend on the cold medicines for, you know, putting to, food on to, their... On to their, not right. cure it. To re, to re, right, it's, that's what it's, I'm saying. It's to relieve it, yeah. but it's like. But I'm saying, I'm, but if you came out with the cure for the common cold, like you said, all those other companies that depend on that now go out of business. All those people that work for those companies are unemployed, and it affects the economy. It's it's we're fucked. <clears throat> but I don't think the people at the top care about the employment. To be honest with you, I don't think yeah. it does. I think they just these people don't care about employment. I think they just care about their money. I don't think oil men give a shit about like. Whether they're people at work, and they lay off thousands a day. It's like uh, 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 Verizon just laid off 47,000 people. Nice talking to you. <laughs> no, I we understand. don't need you no more. Yeah, I understand bye bye. But it, work for Sprint. I understand that, but it, it continues. It filters down, though. Oh, man. I just think. I, I, I don't that know, shit man. happens all the time. You're right, but the industry as a whole mm. is still intact. You can't take the whole industry away. I think we should get out of this whole oil thing. We should look into beet juice, look into soybeans, miso soup. Hold on now. But look at now, look at the people. Because China, we're going to get into the something. China wants oil. Let them, they oh, they want oil bad enough. They up. are the big problem. They're starting they want, to suck it They up. want it bad enough to fight us for it. And yeah. we need to start using beet juice and, and running off of this, this bio oil stuff so we can get out of the, the war game, man. Get into another game because we're going to be in trouble behind this oil. Beet juice for freedom. <laughs> beet juice That's what for we freedom. need. Al Qaeda doesn't like beets. <laughs> we gotta beat Al Qaeda with beet, beets. We gotta beat. We we'll beat him with beets. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Mike in New Mexico. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, uh, that biodiesel is not made out of beet juice. It's made out of uh, soybean oil. All right, so ah. now we got soybean oil. We got beets, sugar beets, sugar soybean, beets. Uh, no, it, chicken it's, grease. It's not made out of sugar beets. Some there is no oil in sugar beets. So it's soybean. Soybean. It's just soybeans. All right. And <laughs> ass is made out of. All right. We got we got one more trucker from Texas, Randall. Randall. Hey man, how y'all doing? All right. What do you know about the biodiesel? Okay. Well, I just left Carl's Corner here in Texas, and that's where Willie Nelson's uh, truck stop is. That was the uh, one that was featured on uh, whatever 60 Minutes or whatever it was. Right. Right. Yeah. First of all, Willie Nelson did not create biodiesel. Biodiesel has been around for two or three years. Uh, Willie Nelson just found out about it last year, and he started speaking out about it. Uh, right now, you can buy uh, biodiesel that's mixed with soybean oil. You can buy it with a 20% mix with your regular diesel. Now, sir, can I ask you a question? Why, why is this not, like, why isn't this humongous news? Why, why doesn't everybody in the world, or everybody in this country at least, mm -hmm. Thinking about putting soybeans in their car because of this all this this nonsense going on. Why is this not news? Hey, check this out. Diesel was invented to run off of peanut oil. Diesel engines have been around for good God, what forty, fifty good years. You know, as if running off of diesel, but it was originally made, created to run off of peanut oil. Uh, the biodiesel from George Washington Carver. With his goddamn peanuts. See? Him see and how that they fucking do the peanut. Man, see how we do? See? <laughs> we said we don't need your fucking oil. <laughs> we don't need your black peanut oil, boy. That's George Washington Carver going, hey, your diesel engine will run on this. Yeah. I figured out how to get the oil out of a peanut. Oh, good work there, pal. What's a nigga got to do? <laughs> right. <laughs> what does a nigga got to do to get his peanuts used up in this motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> you know that's how he looked at it, too. God damn. Oh, great. Well, when he the... was growing up, he was the hero of the black community, <laughs> and as far as my history books went. The only black guy I ever knew of in history was George, George Washington, Washington Carver. Right. That was the thing. only one they taught us. 
Do you see how that's the... Well, this when the is white man discovers the peanut, then we'll acknowledge that's it. That's what, when a white guy gets the, you know... But Nothing the, else. But it's what? like, there's a nigga after this. What the hell you got to do? <laughs> <laughs> he says there, he's got it. I can save you guys a lot of wars and a lot of hassle. I'll get you out of this bullshit. This right. car can run on a peanut, you like, idiot. I got it. Use the peanut, baby. How about a future with no pollution? I got it right here. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's listening. Shut up. Uh, what? This so Crazy this is... Negroes doing something with a peanut over there. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Oh, crazy old Negroes. <laughs> See, but why? That's what I'm... Why, Anthony? Oh, why? I love it. I, why, I, Opie? Why? I, uh, why, I Opie? Don't why, know. I love it. I, I love don't it. Why? Why, old George Bush? Uh, here's uh -oh. something else you guys yeah. might be interested in. Uh, Y'all were talking about the Chinese wanting our oil and stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's a big uh, problem. You know that they were coming into the state of Colorado next year to start drilling for their own oil and natural gas and bringing in their own equipment, bringing in their own workers. Oh, yeah? This is, I'm telling you, of President Clinton. The Chinese? Uh, in, the end, uh, in the end, China's going to be the real problem. But you know, but here's the thing that you, the, this is why, why I love racism. Because mm. in the end, the world, the white man's, this white, white people are not going to let Chinese people be the leaders of the world. No. It's not going to happen. China well, we will. Have somebody to build a railroad track. Hmm. Here's God a damn little, it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, with their little hiney hats on, those pointy things. I mean, they yes. Give them opium again. <laughs> Dock that chink a day's pay for napping on the job. <laughs> Blazing saddle. <laughs> Guy collapses from the heat. <laughs> Stop from the day's pay. Stop this chink. <laughs> ah, right on. Uh, here's the problem with China, huh? though, if I could sum it up. Um, Quickly, the uh, same thing that happened with the Soviet Union. The China is moving into this, uh, actually, last century. They're finally moving into it. They're using fuel. They're modernizing. They're, uh, uh, their urban centers are branching out to areas that used to just be rice paddies and, and little uh, uh, communities that were almost tribal for so many years. The same thing that happened to the Soviet Union will eventually happen to them. It, 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 it's good because they make more money. Um, they become more powerful in the world. It's bad because it's hard to keep their people under control when they're able to see what's going on in the rest of the world. That's what happened with the Soviet Union. When they could keep their people shut up, uh, don't look at this. Uh, here's our TV. Here's our radio. Here's our music. Here's our clothing. This is what you wear. This is what you do. The second technology caught up, satellites... Uh, they started getting broadcasts from outside the Soviet Union and started thinking, hey, this ain't as bad as they're saying out there. That's when it all turned on the Soviet Union. But that's the, that depends on, on what? the people. Right. Because I don't know Chinese the people, people that are well. people fucking people. But look at Iraq, man. These I, Iraqi people don't want democracy. They just they need a dictator. They need somebody to be. Was there any suicide, any insurgents when no. Saddam was in office? Iron he fisted motherfucker. That guy would rape your family, kill you. There yeah. was none of that. Yep. Democracy. And now it's like we're mm -hmm. trying to de democ make this a democratic state or whatever. And they're going insane. Chinese people have been under control uh -huh. for since the Ming Dynasty for ten thousand years. They'll stay under control. They stay not. Ha they don't have babies because they're told not to. Right. They're they're obedient. But, sons of but if you start letting in other cultures and ideas to these people, that's when they start going a little saying. crazy. Saddam wouldn't even let that. That's why those people are so you know. Uh, uh, why, why they didn't freak out like the Soviet Union and want freedom and, and rise up against because they were cut off. They ain't no fucking, you don't go to uh, get 120 <laughs> fucking channels of TV in your rock hut in your fucking Flintstone house in Baghdad. <laughs> yeah, that just a big hollowed out rock with a rock roof. <laughs> watching some lady with a, her eyes covered up watching SNL. Oh! <laughs> oh! Who's this? Eddie Murphy! He's been around for years, baby. You run in a house in Baghdad and the same fireplace and table goes past you 20 times. <laughs> Like a rock house. Let's go to Idaho. Matt, the final word on uh, biodiesel. Hey, what's up? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm a farmer and a truck driver, man. It takes uh, diesel to fuel the tractors to plant the shit. It takes diesel in the tractors to tend the crops. And then it takes a shitload of energy to manufacture it. It's just basically the same thing as that corn liquor methanol. It's an additive, and until 
fuel prices really get up there, and until they can manufacture enough to run their own tractors, it really isn't all that effective. Yeah, that's what they say about a lot of these uh, alternative fuel sources. It takes to make the alternative fuel source, they use fuel. <laughs> but that's more cuckoo. That's more. Is it more that's cuckoo? That's more stuff. Around. Whoa, cuckoo. He's this, this, crazy. It's right. yeah, he's a nutty, nutty guy. It doesn't. It's just. It, it, well, the people I'm, that I'm with you with the whole job thing, and I'm with you. It just, I just believe. I'm not saying it's right, but that's uh, one reason why we don't push a lot of this stuff, you know, forward fast. Remember Ed Bigley Jr. driving his electric car until everybody realized that he had to plug it in somewhere to charge it. Right. And where's the power in the wall coming from? The power plant that's running turbines that runs on fuel, on oil. Right. So he's just kind of eliminating the refining process. <laughs> To, uh, uh, from the fuel to his car, right, and just using uh, uh, electricity. But it's everything in this world right now runs on oil. That's just the way it is, and it ain't gonna change. We should uh, break. We're way late, and we got Francine here. God, I wanted to bring up the uh, typewriter issue. All right, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> you got Why on is the W next to the Q? Just the I don't fact. get it. It's kind of it has to do with what we're talking about. Yeah. It's the fact that Patrice is talking about how things that how things have to change over time. But what happened to the powerful typewriter people? Why didn't they stop the uh, production of computers? Because, because they, that, how, look at all the jobs that were lost to the people that worked at the typewriter factory. But they didn't know because typewriters, the, the, the idea of keyboards are the same as a the typewriter. They didn't change the... So this is just a it, futuristic it, brought from Pete typewriter. It's from just a big... T- <laughs> it's just a fancy old typewriter. <laughs> That's all it is. So it didn't mess the typewriter people up. It just... It just it, it's oh, the same yeah. concept. You think the typewriter people all went to work at computer places? They all or you think the guy that used to fucking mold the L, uh, <laughs> you think he's working on fucking processes now? L but the, that L mo- I mold the L. I'm the L guy. I was the guy. But even that was a slow transition. There was, a yeah. time, there was a time we were still using typewriters and computers. And computers. That's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, there's stuff we could be doing now, but it just, it just takes time. Mm-hmm. Now, you think there's any, that's funny. Now, you think there's anybody out there going... That's sitting there going, I lost everything because <laughs> there's effing computers. <laughs> computer shit. <laughs> oh, the well, people are losing jobs no matter what, but you just can't stop it uh, in one day. Whiteout. Whiteout. How f- bad did Whiteout take a hit? Who oh, uses what? fucking Whiteout anymore? I think somebody has to still use whiteout. I think people do. Oh, of course, someone's got to use it. But you think you think the truckloads of whiteout are leaving the factor? Keep them rolling. <laughs> we can't get it up in the shit in the stores. <laughs> or you think like Mr. Whiteout's on the phone? <laughs> Where? All right, now I'll bring it upon myself. I got it. I got a truck box in the trunk. Well, do you guys? It's one guy in a pickup truck. Well, yeah, it's a in America. You gotta get in touch with the monkeys guy because he owns whiteout. He's white the whiteout guy, you, right? Yeah. You ask him how it's going. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mike Nesmith or something. He's <laughs> the whiteout guy. Ask him how the whiteout's going. Oh, fucking guys, computers killed me. We got a break. We have to break. break.